Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I make games, play games, and everything in between. And today we're gonna be installing game analytics into our BuildBox 3 game. And as a bonus, I'm gonna show you how to set up your game so it doesn't stop your player's music. This takes like 30 seconds to do, and if you don't do this on your games, then I'm already not a fan of your games because if I'm listening to music, the last thing I wanna do is hear game music. Let's get going. This video is brought to you by my game, Ball Meets World. It's a game that I created in about a month, and then I spent a month polishing. It's got 50 different levels. It'll be available to play now, so download this game and let me know your thoughts in the comments below and by rating the game itself. It's been a long time since I've implemented game analytics. So I think I just kind of gave up and I've been learning BuildBox 3 for a while, but let's just jump into it. I got this step-by-step -step guide from BuildBox. It's a little dated, but it's got the core of what we needed. And they finally fixed the typo I reported two years ago, like three days ago, because I was like, hey guys, this typo is still here. So if anybody has ever used this game analytics guide, Anytime in the past and it didn't work, it could have easily been a typo. Let's get to it. Okay, activate accounts, add a game. So we go here and you select add a game. You can see I tested with Voodoo a long time ago. Just go through the basic steps. Entering my bundle identifier. If you do not know what a bundle identifier is, I recommend you do some research on YouTube and Google because this is pretty straightforward in terms of setting everything up. Okay, so let's add a game. Okay, we got the game added, game title, setup, setup. This is good, good, good. Download the SDK. So I've gone ahead and downloaded the game analytics SDK. You can find that at gameanalytics.com. Here we're gonna open up the game file, which will open up Xcode. Quality testing for KPI, right there. Go ahead and close the build box. First thing here is the game analytics framework. This is the game analytics zip file I downloaded from the website. It was the folder and this is the game analytics framework. We're gonna go over here and close these folders. And you can see this folder is called frameworks. And that is exactly where we are going to put this. Be sure to select copy item if needed. This is super important. If this is not checked, you may have issues. Okay, and then let's see. So that's the main place where this document is incorrect. So next we wanna to go to the app delegate file. Let's, I'm gonna select this and go to the app delegate file, which is under BB player, go here. Now, here's something you probably didn't know. It looks like app on board is collecting some kind of data. I don't know why, but here you can see me commenting out their code. I don't really know what kind of information they're gathering. I don't think they can get too much information, that being said, commenting it out so that there is no information being sent to them about my game because nobody asked me for my permission. Okay, what's next? Okay, copy and paste it, check. Okay, so next is this game analytics. So grab this information right here and go right here under did finish with launch paste. I'm gonna add some space just cause I like the code to look a little better. Here we are going to need to add the game key and the secret key. You should have this in your game analytics. Be sure to keep that secret. And the last piece is to go to gameanalytics.com slash docs slash item slash iOS hyphen SDK. This part is not in the build box documentation, but I implement these build phases just to be safe have done this before when implementing game analytics so i just like to do this and here you can see configure xcode use the sdk in xcode it is needed to add both sdk library and its dependencies this is in the build phases section and you want to add the following to link binary with libraries. And here you'll just be searching for the frameworks that you need that are listed here. I was able to find all of them except for the very last one, which I hope isn't too much of a problem. 
That being said, game analytics does seem to be working for me. Implement these just to be safe. And then that's it. And then here's some other things in terms of how to keep track of players and what levels. I actually don't know how to implement this. I remember trying unsuccessfully to implement this a few times in the past. Overall, this is all the information we need. And the extra tip for today is how to disable the game's music if your player is already listening to music. I have this line of code which I've got from the internet and it works. I don't really know exactly how it works and I don't really need to. So I just copy here and I put it in the same place where the key is supposed to go. And then I take this import up here and then I put that also up here. And I've tested this over the years and it works beautifully. If you don't use this, Anytime someone is listening to music and they open up your game, your game will stop their music. I'm not a fan of that, so that's why I recommend doing this. Super straightforward. Maybe it's me, maybe it's Buildbox. I don't know. Things have only got easier, but this is ridiculously important when testing with any publisher. Be sure to watch this video over and over again. If there's anything that doesn't make sense, leave a comment, let me know. If you like this video and this type of content, don't forget to like, hit the subscribe button with the bell, and until next time, peace.